Hey guys, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and this is Farm Vlog number 15. Woo! <laughs> So man, I gotta apologize. You guys haven't seen me in a while. I've been really, really busy. Had to go to work for a few days. It's been tough times at work. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm an ICU nurse and you know, just dealing with death, life and death every day. Sometimes it weighs you down. Sometimes you just need a couple days just for you. So sorry guys. If you missed me, I'm back. Woo, I'm back. While I was at work, some things got a little bit behind on the farm. We still got our load of lumber right here. We've got to get that off the trailer tomorrow. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. And I made a farm boo-boo, a big boo-boo. I left the water hose on and we had a cold snap and the weather dropped down in the 20s. And here's the result. So my doggone water hose froze up. It did not freeze the back portion where I turned the hose on, the little hose bib. So glad it didn't freeze that. That would have really sucked to have to dig that thing up. But now we've got a busted uh, water hose nozzle and I got to water my animals. Got to water my chickens and my goats and check on everybody. Make sure everybody's cool, man. Welcome to farming. Well, let's go down and check on the baby chickies. See how they're doing today. I think they're probably doing pretty good. It's been a beautiful sunny day. We did have a good cold snap, so it's been down to 30s all day long. Buddy has missed me all day. And man, what a pretty sunset. Awesome. I'm breathing like a fat kid in gym class. Oh, I gotta get in shape. Gonna have to start the Stony Ridge Farmer Weight Loss Challenge. Who can lose the most weight and still eat southern country food and pick up buckets of water? Be a man. Who can lose weight and be a man? Hey, birdie. Hey, my little bird friend. Get you some water. Oh, that sounds yummy, doesn't it? Oh, birdie. You guys might notice these big chunks in here. We tried to plant blueberries. We tried to propagate blueberries and we failed beyond a shadow of a doubt. But we did get three blueberry plants out of the deal. Those are the clumps of organic matter that were in the blueberry totes that we had and, and there's some totes right here uh, we'll use those in our uh, little hoop house that we're going to build sometime in the next couple farm vlogs we're going to let the chickens peck through those eat the bugs out eat the worms roots get some organic material in their life because they need it just like we do beautiful country sunset guys i'm glad to share it with you i'm glad you're here with me That's enough dilly dally and belly hoo. Let's look in the chicken box and see if we got any eggs. Woo so guys, normally our farm vlog has a little more information, but today it's just gonna be a kind of a goofball day. Uh, no egg, no egg. Where are my eggs? Oh, got an egg. Nope. See how good these eggs are? Plastic eggs, even the even the farmer's fooled. Oh, there we go. We got three eggs. We're going to put this one away. Ready? Look who is so happy. What a happy dog. Get out the way, old Nanta girl. You're too late to get your supper. Spurs gone to breakfast cooking. Old Nan Tucker just standing there looking. Yeehaw! Farm life, baby. Woo! Everybody. Hey friends! Hey my little friends! What y'all doing? I'm gonna go play with my little goat friends. I missed them. <laughs> so I like to get over here and spend some time with the goats so that I can hang out with them and rub them and pet them and make them tame. Oh. Hey little friends! Good. There you go. There you go little friend. Guys, this is Pepper. She's a sweetie pie. Hey, little Pepper. I feel like it's good to keep the goats petable and close to me, so maybe next time it'll be easier to move them. If you haven't seen the farm vlog moving the goats, right there it is. 
What a pain in the butt. So a little goat talk. If you guys are thinking about getting goats, they're very low maintenance, but one thing that you do need to check, you need to make sure your fence is secure. When you check on your goats, you need to make sure they're all healthy. You need to make sure that they're, they seem to be feeling good. You need to make sure that none of them are kind of standing funny because they'll get this thing called goat bloat. I haven't experienced it, but it's basically a need for the goats to burp. Now there's tons of videos on YouTube about goat bloat and how to cure it. Some, uh, some of the cures are just using Dr. Pepper. You take Dr. Pepper and feed it to the goat and he burps, burp, and that's it. Just ends the goat bloat problem, totally. But anyway, what you need to know if you're thinking about getting goats is you must worm them. I think you have to worm them close to once a month. I worm these guys close to once a month. I uh, set a timer on my phone for once a month, and when I do the dog's wormer, I, I do the goat's wormer. And when I do the dog's medicines, I do the goat's medicines. So if you're thinking about getting goats, they're relatively low maintenance. They'll clear out a spot for you. They'll clear a field out for you. They'll clear a brush for you. You could possibly make a little bit of money renting goats. Uh, there's some companies out there that will rent a goat to you to help clear out a brushy area. So they'll put up a little temporary fence, kind of like what we've built, and let them eat up all your brush clear out a spot that looks kind of bad in your yard. Kind of neat. So if you're thinking about getting a goat and you live in an urban area, a urban or suburban area, check with your local ordinances and make sure it's okay for you to get a goat because it sure would be sad for you to go get a goat and then you can't get rid of it. And then it has to go to a goat rescue. That sucks. That's just a bummer. Guys, plan ahead. Don't get farm animals if you can't take care of them, okay? It's irresponsible, it's wrong. It's just wrong. Guys, let's not make the same mistake twice. That one maneuver on your farm can save you thousands of dollars. Food for thought. Guys, I'm gonna lead you into the next couple of vlogs here. This is our garden right here. We tilled it up probably about two months ago and I covered it with clover. I wanted to overseed the garden with clover. It was a little bit too cold in the winter time to get the clover started, but we do have little clover plants, probably this big. What we're trying to do is have a almost no-till situation here, but I had to till in some manure and some compost that I had so that I could get my garden up and rocking. The next thing we have to do here is this is a huge area, so I've got to mark it out. And the way I always mark my garden out, I take mason string. It's just a really thin yellow or pink string. And I take some stakes, either rebar stakes or wooden stakes. If I have wood scraps, I'll make wooden stakes. And I'll stake this all off and plan it out. Plan your garden out on a piece of paper. Now's the time of year to do it. Decide what you want. Get excited about it. Don't plant your seeds yet. Just get excited about it. Get it marked, get it planned. And that's what we're gonna do plan out our garden. Look for that in the next couple vlogs. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep that stony ridge rolling. Man, my dog is awesome. Roll hide. Woo! Guys, since I've started doing the vlog, I don't know if I've introduced you to my cabin. This is a cabin that was built circa 1910. It's got awesome old logs in it. In a future vlog video, we're gonna take this cabin, and my plan is to jack up the roof, take the roof off, raise it up, take the logs out, and set the roof on pillars. That's my plan. That is going to be a funny vlog. There will probably be a three-part series on this, on taking this thing down, harvesting the logs, storing the logs, and reclaiming this wood. And also, the biggest challenge, my plan is to run some cables underneath the rafters on this thing, hook them to the large poplar trees around us, and use a come along and jack it back up. I don't know how this is gonna work. So I wanna show you guys the inside of the cabin also. This is uh, old tongue and groove oak boards. So guys, this was the second story of this building and back here are all sorts of awesome tongue and groove oak planks. We've got to get these out. We've gotta save them. We've gotta keep this part of history on our farm. We've gotta do it. So this is the second floor. This building fell off its foundation and it's a bummer, man. It would have been so awesome to have this. I wish people would take care of their buildings and take care of their farms. I think folks get up in age and they just stop taking care of their farm. It's, it's really disappointing. I say it's disappointing, but this place would have cost five times as much had it been properly manicured and taken care of. So thank you for not taking care of your farm. 
I'll do it now. Cause I love it. Cause it's my house. It's where I live. It's my home. And I protect it. And I love y'all too. Alright. Woo! A lot of stuff in old dude's head here, man. A lot of things going around. A lot of what have you. So don't forget, guys. I'm a farmhand and a nurse. It's okay. You can be a man and a nurse. Look for the cabin takedown video. It's coming. Subscribe to the channel. Awesome stuff to come, guys. Reclaiming this old barn. It's actually a cabin. Reclaiming this old cabin. Good stuff. This is the first time you've watched my vlog. Guys, don't forget to dream, okay? Don't forget to dream. This place is a dream. It's a dream of mine. Whatever your dream is, don't forget it, guys. Don't forget your passion. Don't forget your creativity. Don't forget to dream, America. So that's it for today. I got things to do inside. I'm getting my office ready so that I can sit down, make videos, run the farm, do what I need to do. Look for some good stuff to come. I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time watching, check out some of the other videos. Got good stuff. If you want to learn a little something about farming, you want some good advice, all advice is good in my opinion. Whether you think it's good advice or not, watch the vlog, enjoy yourself, smile. I hope I can put a smile on your face. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Thanks for watching. Woo! Well, come on.